Welcome everyone. In this video I'll be answering a question from one of my viewers by the name of Roy Salt from the United Kingdom. Roy asked this question after seeing this video via my Facebook page and it uh, concerns uh, m some of my insights into the murders of Hannah Witheridge and David Miller. And what Roy asked me was, as a trained lawyer, I would like to ask you something. If this had happened in Australia, do you think that it possible that they would have been acquitted? They would have been uh, the two Burmese men who were ultimately found guilty uh, by a Thai court of the murders of Hannah Witheridge and David Miller. Now the short answer or short answers are that it would be most unlikely that the police would have charged the young men if uh, this had happened in Australia. It's most unlikely that uh, it would have uh, got through the com committal proceedings because uh, once it uh, goes before a magistrate, the magistrate decides whether it should be forwarded to the Supreme Court and it's almost inevitable that a magistrate would have uh, uh, refused to forward it to the Supreme Court because amongst other things the uh, Australian lawyers would have been far better prepared than, uh, you know, with the greatest respect to the uh, defence lawyers in Thailand, um, the Australian lawyers would have invariably been uh, much better prepared and they would have been uh, booking up as much as they could on DNA evidence and this was something which even in September of 2015 was fairly apparent that the Thai defence lawyers were not up to speed with. So if it doesn't uh, proceed from the magistrate's court to a supreme court then that would be the end of the story. In addition to that, uh, if the uh, case had uh, made it to the Supreme Court and we have 12 jurors, when the defence lawyers point out all of the many defects in the uh, DNA evidence, the judge would almost certainly have uh, decided that this evidence was uh, uh, far too shoddy and it should not be admitted and if the uh, DNA evidence uh, was inadmissible then he would direct the jury to acquit the accused men of both the rape and the double murder. He may have said, um, okay well perhaps we can find uh, Y Pyo guilty of stealing a telephone from persons unknown if he had in fact uh, found it on uh, on the beach, and uh, there may have been a conviction—excuse <coughs> me—a <coughs> conviction for a an immigration offence, but that would have been it. And in addition, I mean, even before it got to um, the committal proceedings, there are very uh, different ways in which the uh, Thai police behave to the way Australian police behave in most uh, states. For example, in Australia, detectives will follow the evidence and the leads, and they will uh, decide what evidence might. Uh, prove which facts uh, when they actually bring it to court and uh, then they would uh, charge the uh, relevant person and bring the case to court. Now in contrast in Thailand the police decide um, on whom they uh, wish to convict and then they extract false confessions and they'll encourage witnesses to provide false statements and they'll destroy or conceal evidence that would have assisted the accused. Now having said that I'm not going to suggest that all Australian um, police are entirely honest all the time and in fact we do get some outrageous decisions uh, from time to time and sometimes the police do act corruptly here in, in Australia. Uh, but one thing which I also wanted to point out in fairness to uh, the Thais is that uh, sometimes even in Western countries we have decisions where there are outrageous results. Now I'll just show you uh, this first case now this was a case that uh, uh, was heard in 1818 in New York and in this particular case a jury of uh, I guess 12 men, there wouldn't have, would have been no women of course, uh, they decided that uh, fish oil uh, and whale oil uh, were the same thing. Uh, they basically said that a whale is a fish. They um, accepted the sort of the biblical notions at the time. And there was another case uh, in Australia called um, uh, the Crown and Chamberlain and it concerned the 
uh, the death of uh, baby Azaria Chamberlain at Ayers Rock and there a jury decided that a dingo did not kill baby Azaria at Ayers Rock in the Northern Territory of Australia but accepted uh, two forms of uh, junk science to convict the mother Lindy Chamberlain. Now in relation to the uh, case of Maurice and Judd uh, we did have some expert evidence that was um, uh, brought to the court. Uh, in the courtroom there was a physician and naturalist by the name of um, Dr. Samuel Latham Mitchell and he was the chief witness for the defence. Uh, now he was also a professor of natural history and chemistry at Columbia University so he was an expert but we have to keep in mind of course that this is 30 years before uh, Darwin, Charles Darwin wrote his uh, first uh, uh, books on uh, natural selection and so forth. And uh, but the professor pointed out that whales breathe air and have lungs and not gills. He pointed out that they have four chambered hearts like horses but unlike fish and their fins contain bones that are exact analogues of the hands and arms of uh, apes and people. Uh, he also added that, uh, quote, as a man of science, I can say positively that a whale is no more a fish than a man and nobody pretends to the contrary nowadays except politicians and lawyers. But unfortunately the, um, the fish oil inspector, uh, he hired a very uh, um, persuasive lawyer who was able to uh, tap into the, um, I guess, the, the prejudices of the jury at the time who uh, may have sort of been uh, persuaded by what they might have read in the Bible and it only took 15 minutes of deliberation for the jury to decide that no, a whale is a fish and therefore in this uh, particular case um, the defendant, uh, Mr Judd, lost. So that was an outrageous decision but you know in fairness the decision in the Thai court to convict Wai Pio and Zor Lin was more outrageous than this decision in New York in 1818 that a whale is actually a fish. Now some of the uh, evidence that convicted Lindy Chamberlain or that it really rested on two pieces of evidence and in one of them, uh, one piece of evidence, uh, an expert witness basically couldn't tell the difference between these which are scissors and the claws of a dingo and there was also other expert evidence, supposedly expert evidence uh, where the expert could not tell the difference between paint and blood. And uh, in fact, when it came to the question of the scissors, what the um, so-called expert or self-proclaimed expert said was that certain cuts on an item of clothing that had belonged to baby Azaria, those cuts could only have been made by scissors and not by dingo's claws. Now, many years later, uh, uh, the, you know, there were appeals and there were other... Um, hearings and uh, fresh evidence was adduced uh, in which uh, some people had uh, taken uh, microscopic images of the uh, of clothing that had been cut by scissors, threads that had been cut by scissors and some that had been cut by the claws of dingoes and the self-proclaimed experts were unable to tell the difference. So that was one uh, piece of evidence that was completely, of junk evidence that was completely debunked. And the second piece of junk evidence that convicted um, Lindy Chamberlain uh, revolved around some, um, a stain that was found in her vehicle and in the initial trial it, uh, there was a self-proclaimed expert who said that oh look we tested this and the chemical reaction um, was um, gave us the same sort of result that we'd get from blood. But then years later, uh, further tests were carried out and it was found that an identical reaction would be received if uh, with a chemical reaction that was tested on paint. And so there was nothing uh, in the original evidence to, to show that it was actually paint, but that it was actually blood from a, uh, a dead baby that was found in the car. It could well have been paint. And of course, uh, Lindy Chamberlain was given the, the benefit of the doubt. But you know, one of the really strange things about the Lindy Chamberlain case too is that uh, there had been um, reports to the Northern Territory Police that uh, dingoes, which are wild Australian dogs, that dingoes had been uh, threatening and menacing towards um, people. 
uh, to human beings, but the Northern Territory Police and the Northern Territory Government um, were in many respects uh, corrupt, uh, just like the Thai police and uh, the Thai government, and uh, they wanted to keep all of that quiet because that would uh, adversely affect their tourism industry around Ayers Rock. So that was kept quiet, and there were some other appalling things which happened. For example, you know, Northern Territory police would come up to jurors and uh, say things like, you know, you're going to um, give us the right uh, decision, aren't you? And so there was a lot of interference, and uh, the Northern Territory Police and the uh, the government there are all very parochial. So um, jurors are very happy to go along with whatever they um, they say. Um, but uh, anyway, I'll have some more information about that case and the uh, the more recent Judd case in the description below. But I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and. Um, feel free to make a comment if you wish. And the reason I mentioned, of course, those other cases in New York and in Australia was that um, I'm not, I want to show that I'm not being uh, overly biased against the, the Thai police and the, um, the Thai courts. But uh, one of the things which I will point out is that in uh, Thai courts, um, according to David Streckfuss, in one particular year, the conviction rates in criminal trials we're running at 99.2% overall. Whereas in Australia, the police win some and they lose some. But uh, in Thailand, it appears that the courts act much more like rubber stamps. So that's a very short answer to your question, Roy. It was a really good question, and I could have spoken for much longer, but I hope that uh, goes some way to answering the question. Thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.